Currently, I'm on the plane and we are officially on the way to California. Miffy on the airplane. Currently flying over the entire country and also I found this sticker while at the airport before we were about to leave. It's so cute. I put on my camera. I don't know who lost it, but don't worry. Probably the best person to find it has found it. The first few days we were just settling in, so I pretty much only vlogged what we ate. So low-key this beginning part is going to be a what I ate in California type thing. We got some snacks since we're going to be in California for quite a while. And we're going to eat some food at one of our friend's favorite places. And they also had a happy lemon and I literally love happy lemon. Because they have it in Shanghai and I'm just so nostalgic about it. So I got my normal happy lemon order. It's a choice. We got Yakult lemon slushy with grapefruit and leafy jello. And it is so cute. It's so good. Wow, burger. Tasty burger. Steel. Solid. In and out was pretty tasty. Love In and Out as always. Of course, you have to have it when you go to the West Coast. Later on, I found this store and they have Sunny Angels there, which is really exciting. But it's just a super cute little store in like the little Berkeley strip or whatever. And they had so many cute things. But of course, they had Sunnies, which I was mostly excited about. The Sunnies that they have here are already pre opened. But honestly, I don't really mind that because they're just so cute. And I have so many already that I kind of just want to fill the gaps in my collection. So I was looking around and I was deciding if I wanted any of them. And I'm not really sure about a bunch of these, but they did have this cute little rat guy So I got him and I got a little glitter makeup thing and at dinner here he is with my Xiaolong Bao So tasty so fun and tomorrow the vlog actually starts because we actually have plans today. So Yippee! Yay, Japan town! <laughs> uh, wow. When you film stuff so you don't have to buy it <laughs> Sticker oh, look at this oh, I didn't even see this. <gasps> Are those stickers? Oh my god, I, yes. have to, I have to get that. Oh my god. They're so cute. <laughs> You're what I've been looking for my entire life. What the heck? Oh, Should I get yeah. two of these? <laughs> uh, the yeah, but it's like, what if I use one and then I'm sad? I don't uh, have them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know who this guy is, but I've seen him around. <laughs> He's so long. Mm -hmm. No sunnies. That's so sad. They're oh, so cute. Look at the fun and Look at the dog. The, the straw is kind of like really in there. Oh, they have a kitty. Oh, this one's their tongue. Yeah, I've had this one. And then my mom threw it away because <laughs> it stopped growing and then it started just sitting there. But I kind of wish I still had it. Look at the bridge, dude. Why do I love the bridge? And the trolley. San Francisco core. <laughs> oh, it's a bear holding the bridge. This is twenty dollars. And this is ten. For, do I get the bridge? It doesn't go with anything in my house. Yeah, that's how I get what your heart desires. Yeah. <laughs> I do love him. I. <laughs> it is time to get the bridge. <laughs> Lunch today is at this little Japanese restaurant, obviously in J-Town, but this was a really small one and apparently it's pretty good, so we're gonna try it out, but their menu looks very promising. And I got to read Doraemon while waiting for our food to arrive. Yeah, the size is really good. Tasty. Am I wrinkly ass? <laughs> Are they wrinkly? I just seasoned it a little bit. <laughs> oh, spaghetti. Food. So tasty. 
I took a lot of footage of this food because I was really excited because I don't know if you guys remember from my Japan vlog, but I love Japanese food and this specific type of like, I don't know what genre of Japanese food this would be, but the hamburger steak and the Japanese spaghetti, I just love it so much. My friend Ashley got curry and she's actually a friend I knew from RISD, so we got to like reunite a little bit in California and that was super fun, but I hope you guys enjoy my slow-mo. I tried my very best. I never used this function on my camera, but today was the day to bust it out because you know what? This food deserves some slow-mo footage. And it was pretty good. I liked it personally. And now we're gonna hunt for some sunnies and some other guys. But as you can see here, found some sunnies and we found some very cutie blind boxes. I think Ashley's gonna get her first sunny angel ever. That is literally so exciting. Oh Pucky relax beanie. Pucky relax beanie. The shark guy. This, this guy's again. This one's really cute. The more yeah. I see him, the more I like, like him. They can connect together. Oh, really? I think so. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. What the heck? Ashley's first sunny. I don't even know how to open it. Hopefully, it's the goat. You gotta like really get in there. Yeah. 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 I can't tell. Who is this man? I don't think it's the goat. Oh no. The green hat. Who is that? Oh. <laughs> Do you like chicken man? Yeah, it's cute. I okay. like the colors. Yay! Look how cute this place is. OMG. Look at that little guy. So cute. Wow. So cute. <laughs> Surprising this coconut in it. What the heck is that? It's matcha milk coconut. Whoa. And they call it what? Pink coconut? On the way home, stop by the Golden Gate Bridge real quick with my rat Sunny. It's so windy. I got the dog. No. Oh, you got the one you wanted. Good thing I didn't buy it. That's good. So for the next day, I'm actually going to be getting some work done in California and I'm able to do that with the sponsor of today's video, which is Surfshark VPN. If you guys don't know what Surfshark VPN is, they are a virtual private network. When you connect to the internet, there's a lot of ways that your information can be accessed online, but with Surfshark VPN, they basically blur it out for you so you can stay anonymous and safe with your information. There's a couple of reasons why you might want to use a VPN. I like to use one when I'm traveling to make sure all of my data online is safe, especially when I'm using Wi-Fi networks that I never have before and that I don't necessarily trust with all of my business information like that. So you can stay safe on public Wi-Fi, send and receive files securely, and even access your bank online if you want to. You can also travel the world virtually by changing your virtual locations so you can access popular websites and easily unblock a lot of streaming platforms. Because in case you didn't know, a lot of TV shows and movies are only available per region. So if you set your virtual location to another location, you can actually unlock a lot of different movies and shows that you weren't able to see in your home country. So while I'm in California right now, I'm able to stay safe with Surfshark VPN. VPN. And you guys can too if you want to check it out. I'll have everything that you need linked in the description box. And you can use my code Tiffany Wang for a Black Friday special offer for five extra free months with your Surfshark One package. You can check that out at surfshark.deals forward slash Tiffany Wang. And I will leave everything for you in the description box below. And thank you again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back into the vlog. Cookies. Wow. Do you think there's stuff in here? Yeah, there is. Like mega stuff? Yeah, they put like, like a little scuba thing stuff. Come on! Wow! Alright, we may eat crumbles. But it like, explode. There's stuff in there. Hello! Oh my god. Slay store. Another one.
a lot of times when I travel, I just go on like TikTok and find the cutest stores there and go check them out. So this was another one. And then right next door, they had a shoe store and I unexpectedly got a new pair of Jordans, but they're so cute and I really like them. So I'm glad I got them. And for the next day, we're gonna go to Disney, which is so exciting. Disneyland! Wow! So exciting. It's Disney time! After a year and a half. I know. <laughs> We've had this plan to go to Disney for a while, but then just so many things happened and everything got in the way. So this time when we went to California, we decided that we're gonna stop by Disney. First off, I found these Baymax breads. They are so cute. And also this is what we had for lunch here. So a lot of food, some tacos and some little drink, but we're going to just crotch these up. We're going to Little Tokyo. I'm excited. I want to try the bread we got yesterday. The Baymax bread, he's so cute. Here he is in all his glory. He is so cute and I love him and his head did unfortunately come off during transit, but that is okay. Sorry, Baymax, it has to be done. Wow. Mm. It's doobie bread. It most definitely doobie bread. Let's go! Woo! I'm so excited! We're gonna see fun things. Woo! Stumbled across the most random anime secondhand type store thing. And I just copped this baby. Do you know how big of a deal this baby is? They just had him in the case for $20. But do you know how much this birthday cake secret retails for? And I just got him. And I... I cannot believe I just got him. Also, look how cute this kid's mug is. What the heck? <laughs> I love this place. I feel like I'm gonna be here for like hours, but... Best day ever, dude. Oh my god. I didn't even take a video of where I got it from, but this is the little case it was sitting in. It's got two little friends, and he's mine now. I can't believe it. Oh my god, my favorite cartoon growing up. So cute. Aww. I've always wanted to go to like a thrift store, toy store type of thing like this, where it's like secondhand and it's vintage, but it's also toys that I would have found in like my childhood. So because these are like anime related, I think a lot of them were also just toys that I had as a kid. So they're super cute. Like this little crayon Shin Chan, I don't know, Beyblade looking thing. I think it spins, but I loved it here and looking at all the old stuff. And there was actually some stuff I recognized from when I was a kid, but also a lot of this stuff is new. A lot of people have like their blind box toys here, obviously that you buy and then like you don't like the ones you get. And I really wish this was near me because I would have so many things to sell to the store, but I spent a lot of time here looking at the stuff and it was so much fun. I really like just like going through and digging for stuff because you never know what you're gonna find. And that Sunny Angel was literally the best thing that I possibly could have found here. But there's so many cute little things here. And this was just one section of the store. Look at all these games, dude. And then look at they have Shawans as like, I don't even know what that is, a Game Boy game? Like how is that even a Game Boy game? They have cute Kirby games, freaking Ultraman. Kitty one. So cute. Currently looking for English One Piece cards with Andrew. But this guy's so cute, is he not? Look at him, baby. 
And after this really cutie vintage store, which I honestly didn't want to leave, but this isn't even the main part of what we came here for, we kept walking towards the location and there's a cute store next door. So they had a lot of cute little clothes in here. So I just looked through those and I found these shirts that look like the girl version of the Akira movie or manga and I love it. I honestly wish I got one of these shirts, but I didn't. So that's kind of sad, but they're super cute. They had a lot of other designs too, but I love how they packaged their t-shirts because it was so cutie in here and all the colors were such a vibe and it made me so so happy and i love this design because it has like the little like apollo strawberry chocolate things in the background which i thought was so cute but yeah really cute they stuff just like it. everywhere in this area my baby I already have two. They're so cute. Whoa, more photos. Wow. And now it's time for a little food haul because I just got hot dog and ice cream. To finally start eating. First meal of the day. El mayo in the yacht. Two hands hot dogs. I love these hot dogs. Hot dogs. House dog. I hope it's not really hot. Mm. What the heck is so tasty? Dripping out the side. Where? For the rest of the time in Little Tokyo, we were just shopping. There were a lot of blind box stores here, which were super cute. And believe it or not, I actually restrained myself and I didn't get any, but it was really, really hard because there were so many cute ones. This one specific store had like every single blind box I've ever thought of, except for Sunny Angels. I don't know why, but there's still a Sunny Angel shortage here in California, even though in Georgia, they've pretty much gotten all of them back. So I didn't see any of those, unfortunately. But I did see just a bunch of other cute stuff. So here's just some footage from that because it was so exciting just being around this stuff and looking at it and i actually got a good amount of stuff here but i didn't really vlog it very well so i will insert a mini little haul after these clips but we also stopped by the sanrio store and these are just some of the cute little guys i did end up getting the little hamster plush that's in my hand as well as the little my melody and they also just have this little spring collection where they're all wearing little daisies so it's just so cute the next day is the last day so we're just doing some last minute shopping even though we've been shopping the entire time we've been here and we came across this little hello kitty cafe which was super cute and then also some other stores in this little mall area so I stopped by a really cute store called Kasten and they had a lot of really cute jewelry there so I just kind of checked it out and I actually got a buy one set get one set free deal so I got a new ring and some little charms and a little necklace so I am so in love with these pieces and they are so so cute. I haven't been buying jewelry like this in a minute but recently everything I see is so appealing so I just had to grab these and lastly we're just gonna have lunch before our flight but this was pretty much the vlog so thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out. This was my little vacation in California and it was super fun. I haven't made a travel diary like this before, so places you want to check out in California and I'll see you guys next time. So stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you guys when I see you guys. Bye everyone!